Okay. So violent! <laughs> Get him, Kona! What is happening, people? It is Brian Elzer, and I'm sitting here joined with Miles and Uncle Nick, and then Kona's gonna be intermittently coming in and out, as I'm sure you guys are gonna see. Um, anyway, guys, the entire point of this video is to introduce you to my boy Miles here, who's been lifting our gym for a while, right? Yeah. So why don't you tell him your name, how old you are, what's going on? Uh, my name is Miles Taylor, I'm 23. Uh, I'll be 24 in June. June? Um, I started training for uh, about a year ago. Yeah, it was a year ago. Yeah, you started training about a year ago. Yep. Uh, so what, what's, what's, what's with you, man? Like, what makes you different? Uh, well, the, the first thing you need to have a disability. Yeah. Um, it, uh, it's called cerebral palsy. Yeah. Um, it's, a, it's a physical disability. Yeah. Not a mental disability. No. That's what many people mistake it for. Yeah. Um, so you have cerebral palsy, um, but it it only affects you physically. Like, yeah. you're completely, you're, that's why we mess around all the time, because yeah. you're one of the boys, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah, but the cerebral palsy definitely hurts you as far as your training, but you're still getting after it, right? Yeah. So how long have you been training here at Neversee? Uh, maybe I, I don't know. It's probably been about four months. Yeah, four months. Yeah, four yeah. months. Has yeah. it been helping you? Oh yeah, yeah. Like physically, it helps you out some. Give me a routine. Yes. Which is good. Yeah, and you get to come hang out with Nick and I, which is awesome. Yeah. That's a <laughs> that's the best part. <laughs> so, so now you've been training strongman, and um, what what's your favorite exercise? Uh, my favorite dance. We have to be uh, the king. You like the keg? Like like keg. keg. We're no longer friends, Miles. You <laughs> can go ahead and why, lose my number. Why do you like the keg? Uh, uh, I like moving. Yeah. Yeah. And being yeah. able to pick up stuff that's heavy. Yeah. It's that much better. I, I love it so much. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Miles is deceptively fast. <laughs> He's deceptively strong, too. <laughs> it's annoying it's sometimes. It's annoying. <laughs> Um, so, so yeah, so you like doing kegs, which makes me like you less, but uh, you're getting ready for a powerlifting competition, right? Yes, dude. First powerlifting competition ever. Yeah. Um, you've been training for it. You just hit a bench PR, what, yes, two, yeah, two days ago? Wednesday. 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 70 pounds. 70 pound bench PR. What's your squat right now? Uh, my squat is, uh, uh, like 100, 105. I think. It's like 105, 110, something like that, and then deadlift. What's your deadlift? Uh, my dad is 160. 160. 160 is 160. no joke. <laughs> and then uh, you guys have seen her doing Atlas Stones. There's going to be a bunch of stuff up on this video yeah. about a lot of your training and stuff yeah. like that. Man, I tell you what, every single time that you walk in the gym, it makes me happier. It makes me a better person. It makes me stronger. You inspire me. I, yeah. Not that I'm going to treat you special, but yeah. I mean, still seeing you yeah. get stuff done, man. You have a lot of reasons to, a lot of excuses to not show up, but you still show up. You always have a good attitude and you always work hard. Right? So, um, not everyone's like you, so there are definitely some people out there who like to make excuses and be lazy on their couch and stuff like that. So what, what would you tell them, to people who, who say that it's too hard to do, or that they don't feel like doing it because they're too busy, or their life's too hard, or whatever? What do you uh, got to say about that? The one thing I would have to do is get uncomfortable. Get uncomfortable. Get uncomfortable. You, you said that multiple times. Yup. Doing this uh, pilot, it's been... It's been uncomfortable for me. Absolutely. It's a ability, but you gotta try something. Absolutely. Unless you try it, you never know. Would you say that the powerlifting and the lifting in general has helped just get you outside of your box and help you grow oh, yeah. as a person? Oh yeah. I mean, it's made me more confident. Yeah. Myself. Yeah. Um, it's made me a lot of good fun. Yeah. 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 Absolutely, and, man. Like, yep. And uh, uh, it's been. It's just been amazing to be with you guys every every week. It's, Dude. it's made you more confident. It's improved his balance. Yeah. Um, when he started, when he first started deadlifting here, I had to stand behind him because he would typically fall over with the bar at the top because of the lack of instability. Not anymore. And now I can pretty much walk away from him while he's deadlifting and not have any worry. <laughs> and a lot of people will log on to neverstate.com and they'll look at the daily workout where I put what we do at the gym here every day. A lot of people will look at that and be like, that is way too intense for me, that's too much. Well, this guy walks in every day and goes, where do I start, coach? Yeah. And goes through the exact same program that you guys see on there. There are 
keg carry and load, he's doing that. If it's stone carry and load, he's doing that. The other day, hill sprints. Miles lined up right next to everyone doing his burpees and his hill sprints. Hating it just like everybody else, but he still gets it done. He doesn't let his disability get in the way of what he can do. He doesn't focus on what he can't do, he focuses on what he can do. And every single day, I tell you what, man, you, you change people's lives. So what we're trying to do here is introduce you guys to Miles. Miles does have an Instagram page that we're trying to build up because it is absolutely inspirational and awesome. He's also a graphics design guy. He's a awesome photographer. Um, you got a lot of things going on that he's come out and done photography for yeah. us. At absolutely, at he's competitions, puts so out great out. stuff, <laughs> dude. So make sure you guys are following him on Instagram. I'll be throwing up that stuff there. Smiles Taylor. Smiles Taylor. Yeah, <laughs> his name's Smiles. People, it's you can't go wrong, right? So. Um, Miles, thanks so much for doing this, man. Uh, guys, we will catch up with you later in the week. There is going to be a second video to this, talking about how Miles and Nick actually met. That's going to be over on Nick's channel, so you're going to want to go over there, check that out. I will definitely throw the link to that above. But Miles, thank you so much. Guys, we will catch up with you later in the week, but until we do, go out and do something amazing in your lives, keep working hard, be nice to each other, people, and we'll see you then. Yeah, man. Yeah. So violent! <laughs> No. What are you gonna do now, Miles? What are you gonna do now, Miles? <laughs> Get him, Miles. Get him, Miles. <laughs> Come here. That's it, you're going to timeout. <laughs> no suit for you. <laughs>